Show me life, show me love Make a change, time is up We can wait for better days, but the days won't come Show me life, show me love Show me life, show me love Make a change, time is up We can wait for better days, but the days won't come Show me life uh, There's nothing quite like starting the day Sat in front of a gorgeous view of the ocean Show me love, this is what we got so I was having a definitely a pregnancy low energy day today. It's probably because of all the rubbish I've eaten all week. <laughs> you haven't eaten bad this week. I've, yeah, but I've eaten a lot. Ice cream of woman before midday, why not? Yeah, why not? <laughs> I'll never do that. It's all good. <laughs> um, so today is our last full day here. So today we get to obviously stay the whole day, sleep tonight, but tomorrow we're going home. But we do have a whole full day tomorrow. We don't. we don't get picked up from the airport until 6 p.m. Yeah, so yeah, our transfer back to the airport is at 6 p.m. tomorrow. So we still get a full day here tomorrow, which is ace. And our flight's like a bit stupid o'clock back home. But it's all good. We've had three days off of vlogging. So whenever you do that, because we just wanted to, we, we were a week behind, so we wanted to make sure we could have days vlogging to share with you guys. And also days where we just didn't have cameras and we just en enjoyed it and, you know. Um, and it's been really, really nice doing that. But whenever we come back to vlogging after having a few days off, don't you think it always feels weird? It always feels like... It just takes oh, you a minute to get back it into it. It takes you a minute, yeah, that's right. So this, this hotel is still like definitely our best all-inclusive hotel we've probably ever stayed at. No, it is actually. It ticks so many boxes, it's unbelievable. The food's out of this world. Um, it's all just great. It's all really, really good stuff. And taking in this beach view this morning just reminds me of... Even though this fact that this adventure is coming to an end, we've got a very exciting one coming up straight oh, after it. Great straight after it. We're really excited about that. That RV, that big massive motorhome that we bought, is getting some serious usage. It's getting put to the test. In, oh, yeah. well, put in to a couple test. of weeks' time, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm putting put to the test driving that thing, yeah. <laughs> this is definitely one of the coolest things about this beach. The fact that you can see under these big old shades. And then these guys are totally covered. No worries about the sun at all when you're on the beach. Do you know what I'm worrying about? What? My eyes are like. Oh, fine. There we go. Baby girls. Oh. Yeah. Oh, what? Yeah. Me too. That one's yours. This one's that dad's. Obviously, all the girls who denied one an ice cream before now want them. So now I'm going back to get them one. Okay. Number two, Cornettos. Regular twister and a blue twister. Brian no punks. Original Twizzy. <laughs> I love the blue since Jace took mine. Blue one. And who else wants a Cornetto? Nobody. <laughs> Still want to go swimming, Nez? Yeah. A bit chilly. I love when they turn the heating on in the sea today. Dad. <laughs> Only one way to get into cold water. Swimming. That's just to get in. Once you're in, it takes your breath away for a second, and it's all right. Right now, it's I still can't breathe, but it's all right. Yeah. Okay, we've made it to the end of the pier. Woo! Once you get to here, usually this place is packed, but not today. There's hardly anyone up here. So nice, all the sunbeds lined out, all on the edge of the pier. And obviously, when you get too hot, you can just jump in. Like me and Esme were doing the other day. So fun. So nice out here. So we've just come to the beach bar for lunch and getting a coleslaw. Are we even on a holiday in the hot sun if I'm not having a coleslaw going on? Oh, it's so annoying. Anyway, we've come to the beach bar for lunch. Uh, me, Isabel, Mila, Jace have decided to go, well we've got multiple, we've got a selection, we've got some salads, we've got my fav, well one of my favourite lunches here which is the grilled chicken sandwich, Esme, Esme Dad and Isla <laughs> really have to concentrate, Esme and Isla have gone over to, oh, they've, they've gone over to the other restaurant to get the pizzas that they're obsessed with, the pizza. thank you. Mediterranean salad going on. Oh, yeah. Mila, you look like a sand monster. 
You look like a sand monster. This is the little menu going on. It's very similar to, um, it's very similar. Joey, don't do that, sweetheart. It's very similar to all the other menus you got going on here. Okay, so as a starter, I got Caesar salad. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I've had, I've had hiccups like three times today. Every time I start vlogging, I've got hiccups. We're gonna try it. Mm. That is so good. Like, even the cheese is a bit stronger. It's so nice. Oh, yes. Avocado and grilled chicken salad sandwich, sub roll. This looks so good. The best thing about having a big family is that I get to um, share. share. So I did order a burger, but I'm sharing me and mum half and half, didn't we, mum? Yeah. Oh, it looks so good. Okay, this is the chicken sandwich. Mmm. So good. It's a burger test. Do you like the burger, mum? What do you think? Is it good? water park front of the hotel where all the water slides are i think the older three girls and chris are going to go and play on the water slides unfortunately i can't actually that brings me to a really good question if you were pregnant would you go on a water slides i don't know if there's a right or wrong answer to this personally i won't I i'd be too worried about hitting the water fast but we've seen a few women heavily pregnant, like big, big bumps, smash that water at the bottom of those slides yeah, a few I times. Isabel's <laughs> like, I can't watch, I can't watch. But I don't know, would you do it or would you not? Um, comment down below and let me know. I'm going to sit round the little children's pool with Jason Mila. I've got another question for you guys coming up now. So does anyone else's child get completely overwhelmed with the amount of water literally splurting out every single inch of these mini children's play area type part? Because Jason Mila absolutely love this this children's area at about half past four when they turn all of the jets off. <laughs> and other than that, they won't, they, they just don't want to go on it. It gets in their eyes, splashes on the head, they can't see, sun cream's in their eyes, and it just, it's just a big drama. <laughs> uh, and I kind of understand why. I, t I walked Jay through and I was drenched. Thank you. You guys go in, have fun. So they absolutely, about half past four, they turn all of the jets off, and it's just like a calm, uh, a calmer place to play. But they just, they're not interested when all the jets and the things are on. Jace is currently sat playing in the little paddling pool and a top tip. I've mentioned this every single holiday we go on, but we always take a little mini paddling pool and it literally gets used every single, bless you! They get used every single day. Are you trying to put Esme's hat on? <laughs> That's Esme's! That one's too big! <laughs> Hi cheeky girl! Okay, it's time for the water slide.
Chase is going down his favourite one on this side now that all the water jets have turned off. Okay, go ahead. Oh no, it's not going very fast today. <laughs> Come on then. Good boy. Perfect last full day in paradise. Love this place. The Cornetto was absolutely divine. In it. I took a walk to the other side of the hotel for that. So hope you're pleased. I just get me hope you respect. In the and it worked. She did. Yeah. And now the water's turned off. So Jace, so Jace is going to have the best time of his life right now for the next 10 minutes playing on this water park. Mm -hmm. Okay. We just got back to the room, started packing up, packing up to go home tomorrow. This place has been so amazing. <laughs> I just opened Jace's travel suitcase. Realising that the last time I touched this travel suitcase was when we arrived, the, the night we arrived, and we put it in the wardrobe. <laughs> and it's still full of the sweet packs I'd packed for the flight on the way out here. So, yeah, still packed. All the spares. And another one, I think that one's Jace's. And then loads and loads more sweets in there. And also everything I thought, what sweet at? You want to go to bed? Yeah. <laughs> you just woke up? Um, yeah, all the toys I brought just in case. Yes. What? You want to get on the bed? We've got packs of sweets everywhere. Anyway, at least we've got treats now for the flight home. Um, we've probably got about an hour. We've got a dinner reservation tonight at one of the a la carte restaurants. Which one did we book? The Turkish? Yeah. There was Italian, which we didn't want to do because Italian just seems a bit standard, like it's just pasta and pizza, which is amazing. But we wanted to do something a bit different. The other two were Turkish, which we've gone for because we're in Turkey, it just felt right. And then the other one was Mongolian, which sounded amazing as well. The food at this hotel has been really, really good. The only thing that I haven't been blown away by is the evening buffet that's also open at lunchtime and breakfast time. And um, we've not eaten there at lunchtime just because the evening's just not been amazing. There's been like three, two or three nights that I've really thought, mm, that was a really good dinner. But aside from that, it's not been... There's something to eat every night, don't get me wrong. You're not going to go hungry. But I think if they weren't such good a la carte options all around the resort like there is, and it was only the buffet, and say we'd booked for two weeks, I, I don't think that... I would have loved that. Yeah, I don't think, I, I think I'd have got bored very quickly. There's a lot on offer, but just not stuff that I'm used to or, um, I did see a couple of reviews saying this, just things like random stews, like random stews. Not, not really random, but they just don't look very appetizing. Some of them look quite sloppy, don't they? Some of the dishes in the buffet. Chris is saying, Chris is saying I, I've quite liked it. Is legit eating mashed potato all week no, with chips. I haven't, I haven't eaten mashed potato <laughs> all week. No, he hasn't. He hasn't. He's eaten a few things. And there has been nights where it's been good, but there's just a lot on offer, and most of it's, you know, they're wet dishes. They're like stews, but with random. Uh, lots of fishy stuff as well, which are not. I'm lots not of fish stuff, we're not, yeah, like massive actual fish with eyes on their face on your plate. Yeah, Chris yeah. got one of them last night, actually. Yeah, it was actually alright. Yeah, Chris got, he's a sea bass. It's not um, though, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, oh, <laughs> I've got a funny story to tell you. Should I tell you a story? No, I'm going to tell you it later. Don't let me forget. What? <laughs> the Chris story. <laughs> Almost time to say goodbye to this view for good. Oh, I'm gonna miss it so much. Such a nice night tonight as well. We've got a beautiful sunset over the top of the hotel there. And we're just getting ready to head out to our Turkish a la carte speciale restaurant tonight. Speciale. Very excited about that. Let's have a look, Al's. Oh, very, very. Have <laughs> <laughs> you made this yourself? Okay, that's cool, man. You look cool. Even though we do have all day tomorrow to enjoy this place, we don't have the room. It's not the same on the last day. And it's not the same on the last day, yeah. You kind of, you kind of, although you're trying to enjoy it, you kind of end up just kind of waiting to go at the same time. Yeah, you It's kind of weird. But oh, look at this place, man. I would 100%, if anyone's trying to come to Turkey or thinking about coming to Turkey, 100%, 100% do it for starters. And two, 100% come to this place because it was just, it's been a wicked week and we would love to come back to this hotel. Saying that, I said if we come back, if we ever come back to Turkey, I actually don't think I'd come back to this hotel. Not that there's anything wrong with it, because there's not. We've had an amazing time. 
but there just looks like so many amazing places to stay here. Yeah, to be fair though. There's so many and I really do want to try that Titanic Hotel one time maybe and I do want to try loads of others that we had on yeah. the list. Okay, so basically let me explain real quick, right? If you come into the Antalya region, which is where we are, we're in Antalya, we're in a place called Lara Beach in Antalya and this whole strip, this, this whole area, Lara Beach, the whole piece of coastline we're on, is just littered one after another after another with all-inclusive five-star and four-star hotels. It's beautiful. Every, all the way down, up and down the whole area. So you can't really go wrong. The area is lovely. There's shopping places everywhere. And they're all pretty much the same hotel. Me and Sarah, we're going to book that hotel that's next door to us. I don't know if we've said that before now, but we were going to when we were looking between the two. And we ended up with this one. But the other ones that we looked at as well, like the Titanic, we didn't realise it was next door. And the Concorde is next door. They're all here. They're all in the same place. It's so, so weird, isn't you it? can't really go wrong. If you're going to Antalya, there's any hotel is pretty boss. So, mm. but this one is particularly been amazing it's for us. Really and we've loved it. Yeah, we have. But now we're going to have some Turkish delight, yeah, hopefully. Turkish delight. Yeah, some Turkish delights, plural delights. I said Turkish delights before because this is a traditional Turkish restaurant which we are absolutely loving right now. We've just made our order. It sounds amazing. How good are these tapas trays so you can try everything? Yeah, the starters. The, not the starters, sorry, the um, tapas trays. Appetizers. <laughs> very, very good. Check these out. <laughs> That's so insanely good. With some nice warm bread. Nobody else has done this, but I just ordered a really spicy Turkish kebab. He says, do you like spice? I'm like, yeah. He's like, okay. So I'm expecting this to be hot. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right, guys. Welcome to the spicy Uda Adana kebab. It works, it looks like it's so good. Mm. It looks so good. They actually do look the, the yeah, same. Yeah, the, meat, the meats look a bit different, but not the spice. <laughs> it looks exactly the same. Sarah ordered, I can't remember. No, I can't. <laughs> lamb, skewered lamb, sorry. Sarah's yeah, got exactly. the skewered lamb. These guys all pretty much got the same, I think, the skewered so lamb, good. right? Then I bit into this big jalapeno and it, and it nearly killed me. You, so you tasted good. a what? A big what? Jalapeno. 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 Yeah. I, I took a big bite, a bit, because I thought it was like fine, and it wasn't fine. <laughs> so Isla just went to the toilet, but she went for a skewered chicken, so, which looks very, very good indeed. So we're all eating our mains and like passing them around the table, whoever's got different ones to each other, and saying, Do you want to taste mine? Do you want to taste mine? Bless Mila, sat in front of me just now. She looked at me with a chip <laughs> on her fork and she went, want a taste? It was, really sweet. it was so cute. So I was like, yeah, I'll taste your chip. So I took it, nibbled the end and she went, good? And I went, oh yeah, very good. And she went, more? Uh, no, I don't want no more. <laughs> it was like the cutest thing. And it just goes to show that they just pick things up, don't they? Like I didn't even, I thought she was in her own world list while we were saying do you want to taste mine. She just obviously is picking up everything anyway. I've got the most hilarious story to tell you guys that you're definitely not even gonna find that funny. But for us, it's made me laugh all week. So the other day <coughs> I can't. The other day we was in the restaurant and the waiters and waitresses always come over. I don't know what went through Dad's head, but they always come over. And they always say, yeah, he's, he's been really lovely. And he said to Chris, but he had his Chris kind of had his back to him, so Chris didn't realise. But he went, "What's your name?" <laughs> to Mila, and Chris went, "Oh, it's Chris, mate." <laughs> Chris thought the waiter was talking to him, so then the waiter bends down and goes, "Oh, hello, baby Chris." <laughs> And then for the rest of the week, every time we've gone into the restaurant, we've looked at me and gone, hello baby Chris. And we're like, we're like, oh Mila. Mila. Yeah, but 
Oh my gosh, it's not funny. So I know, like, we're not laughing at the guy. I don't, Chris doesn't have the heart to tell the guy, like, oh, it's my name that's Chris, not hers. And I don't dare say anything when he comes and says it because if I open my mouth, I'm gonna laugh. So I just keep quiet. But, um, I think he realised the light. What do you think he realised last night? Saying, he came over and he was like, hey, and, and Mila's been really cute, someone said Mila, and we were, we were all laughing about it, and he started laughing as well, so I think he realised, like... Do you think he realised? Maybe he did, but it was all week, she's been baby Chris. <laughs> well, not all week, but like for like three na three, day three days. It's so funny. Um, you, you guys probably don't even find that funny. But it has been funny. Like, it's been, it's been a joke all week. Did you not know? <laughs> Isla's probably been getting watermelon or something from the buffet whenever that's been going on. Anyway, this restaurant's been super, super lovely tonight. It's made a really nice change from the buffet. The food has been absolutely delicious. I wasn't sure if we'd go for Turkish, if it was going to be similar to the restaurant, because obviously the, rest, the buffet, sorry, because obviously the buffet is Turkish as well, we're in Turkey. But it's been really, really nice. Different for sure. But very, very nice. I got lamb. I don't, I do like the taste of lamb, but I don't like eating lamb on principle. But um, everything else seemed quite spicy tonight, other than the chicken, and I've eaten chicken like literally every day. So I wanted something different. I got the chicken. Um, I wanted to try something different. So I did go for lamb, and I did enjoy it. But I don't think I'll make a habit of eating it just because I just. Lamb. Then I made and I, Isabel. Had a discussion. Had a discussion over a lamb not being a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Huh? So it's like Colin Miller or one. A little woman. A little Ted. Anyway, it's been really, really nice. Where I think we're going to get some desserts. Um, there was a fruit platter or some Turkish desserts. Of course you can. Or Turkish ones. Yeah, I'm going to go for the Turkish ones just because I feel like we should. In Turkey, we should go for some Turkish desserts. Hey, Mimi. We missed the mini disco. Oh. But do you want to go play on the slides? Yeah. You want to go play on the swinging? Yeah. And slides? Yeah. Do you want to go now? Mm, wait a minute. Do I want some more ice cream first? <laughs> what, Daddy? Is it Jace? Jacey. Mila and Jace's absolute favourite time of evening <laughs> is this big park. We've come here every single day since we've been here. It's actually really good during the day because it's under like a, a tent, so it's undercover. There is a bit over there, just behind the colourful fence, that's like swings and a roundabout, but that's not undercover, so during the day it's like fire hot. Yeah. It's really, really hot. Uh, but they prefer playing on the slides anyway. Mila absolutely loves it. I'd love something like this in our garden. Know, it'd be so cool. It'd be so cool. Last night, Every night we've been here, we've eaten in the buffet restaurant on an evening. Mm. And last night it got quite busy, didn't it? Yeah. Like when we came down, it felt like like a little Everyone bit, a little bit like a school canteen. It was very loud, very bright, very busy. So there's a really nice outdoor patio area. So quiet. so one idiot in our family said, "Let's eat outside." Which we all were like, "No, let's just wait for a table inside." One was I was like, "No way! We're on holiday. I don't want to feel like I'm in a school canteen. Let's go eat outside. It's a really warm evening. It's really nice. Let's just sit on the patio outside. Like it's, it's the holiday thing to do." Well, mm, Mum was wrong for once. <laughs> Me and Isabel, have you? You've got them as well as me. We've been million. savage with mosquitoes. <laughs> Not got a single one this whole time we've been here. Night before our last, we're covered in them. Now mine are quite bad. I Isabel's really Isabel bad. always reacts really bad to mosquitoes. Hey. Um, and hers are the worst. It's, like, it's disgusting. Takes up my whole leg. It's it does. Huge. It's like a big ball on my leg. Isabel always reacts like this to mosquitoes. Yeah, it's not a new thing. It's not a new thing. It's not like she's just suddenly blowing up. I remember blowing in the Maldives, up. like my legs were so lumpy that all of them. Yeah, I remember. Was. So that one's probably my worst. I don't know if you can see it. Um, it's there. It's quite. It's actually quite a big size. It's absolutely gross. I do have about five more down my leg. I've got one there. 
Yeah. One cup of my cup. Isabel. Can you see it from the side? I don't know if you can see it from the side. No, you absolutely can that see it from the side. It's massive. Like this whole thing here is. Wait, hold on. That whole that thing whole there. That whole thing there. That's the whole mozzie bike. That, what is, where's that cut come from? And then, oh, I, I was scratching my leg because my mozzie bike was itching and I. And I Isabel! I, um, and then I've got. Where's this one? Come over here where it's light. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Wait. You're right, Ismay. <laughs> You're right. So that one, which is huge, she's got a couple on the backs of her legs. It's that one there. Looks so bad. It's that one as well. Which one? It's like a big bruise, though, isn't it? That's actually like a bruise. That one. That that one feels like a bruise as well. So. I don't yeah. Know. Um, so, so. But yeah, that one's very bad. Ooh, that one might look like you broke your leg. Like it's that swollen. <laughs> no, like, it's I don't. So bad. It's not even showing on camera as much as it does in real life. But it's like huge. Yeah. It's like a massive swelling on her leg. Yeah. Not very, yeah. No, I don't really like mozzies, they don't like me. <laughs> no. <laughs> and then, yeah, little, Just one, two, three. little awkward three. On and the I've got one there. on my toe, and then that's it. it. It is really actually quite annoying when you come on holiday and you want to sit I'm outside. <laughs> stop scratching them, try to yeah. stop scratching them. You want to come and sit outside, but you can't because your legs end up like this. I, I swear, it's, oh, 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 sorry Isla. I on the bottom of my feet, uh, and I have some on my arms, and some bites give me little rashes. I yeah, swear repellent stuff never works. Yeah, we I do. We do have repellent. We do oh, have everything oh. we could possibly need, yeah. but yeah, they just don't. They don't care. They don't care. They're like, all right, bit of flavour, no worries. Yeah. <laughs> Ready, Mila? Go forward. <laughs> It's popping over at the Concord Hotel tonight. Boom, boom. <laughs> Just taking in this nighttime view one last time. It's extremely beautiful. I should probably point out you can't hear any of that with the door shut. It's completely soundproofed, but um, it's popping over that hotel tonight. So we're all just back at the room. We've just been making sure that we're all fully packed up. Everything's put away for tomorrow. Um, I'm just getting ready to start doing a bit of work before bed and stuff. And um, feeling a bit sad tonight. We don't want to leave here tomorrow. We were kind of all like at home. We were like, oh yeah, one week's enough. It's all good because we've got quite a lot coming up over the next month. And um, we'll be all good. One week's enough, one week's enough, you know, yeah, da da da. And um, super sad that it's zipped by and it's coming to an end now. One week's not enough. <laughs> I'm only joking. I feel very lucky to have been able to come here and have uh, the week that we've had out here. Obviously, I realise how fortunate we are that we can, that we're able to do this. But one week is not enough for this hotel. This hotel is mint, so um, I'd definitely love to come back to this region. And come back and not just do the hotel thing, but actually come and explore. There's lots of places in Turkey that I've, um, I've seen a lot of, like van life has come to recently, and um, there's lots of places I'd really like to explore in Turkey. But that's for another time. But for all inclusive, like relaxing, lovely family holiday, this has been amazing. But we do have a whole full day here tomorrow. Our transfer doesn't pick us up until everything shuts anyway. So it's gonna be amazing. We've got the full day here tomorrow. It's gonna be amazing. So come back here for our last full day here tomorrow and our traveling home. And um, we'll see you at five. Thank you so much for watching. Good night, guys. Bye.